This is Ethan for Ethan's Tutorials, and this is update number one. And what I wanted to do is talk to you guys a little bit about what we've been, what I've been doing. And I haven't made a video in uh, maybe I think it was like uh, well four days ago for four days. So I wanted to talk to you. So I felt like making a video. Just to give you guys some, I don't know, substance. And I wanted to thank you for all the views on how to make an easy layout for MySpace. 140, that's pretty good. But, remember guys, I have some other videos, so don't forget to check them out. Uh, you may notice already from checking out my website, www.ethanstutorials.co.nr, but... I uh, have been sick for a while, so I haven't been able to make a tutorial. So why? So um, and I also wanted to ask if anybody wanted to make or suggest any uh, tutorials, and you can do that by um, emailing me at Ethan's Tutorials at Gmail dot com. Uh, there will be a link in the uh, sidebar of the video and so yeah that's what I wanted to talk to you about so since this video has been pretty short the update why don't we go into Adobe Fireworks CS3 and let's make a logo just for the fun of it let's make it 300 by 300 pixels Okay, make sure your canvas is black. If it's not, just come down here and click black. Come over here to the, the um, it will, it'll look like a rectangle tool, but make it an eclipse. Hold shift and make a circle. Let's move it to the middle. And let's come over here to these styles, click that. And let's look at some silver styles. Okay, that's pretty good, but is there anything better? Yeah, that's perfect. Right there is plastic button 015. Okay, now what we want to do is come back to the circle tool, hold shift, and make a cir circle slightly that's slightly smaller. Put it in the center. You know what? That's a bad circle. I'll make a new one. A little bit smaller. Okay, that should be good. Much better. Come down here to the fill. Um, it's going to look silverish. Just click solid and then click gradient again. Linear. Go up here. Do this first one should be right this here. This 666, a bunch of sixes. Come over here and do black. So then you have a gradient. Then we're going to take, come over here to the rectangle tool, make a rectangle over the whole thing and drag it to the bottom so then you have a gradient in the background too okay, come to your text tool and I'm gonna make an ENT for Ethan's tutorials so I'll make an E that needs to be bigger uh, not big enough, I'll make it 150 Okay, that's good. Put it right to the side. Now you can do whatever text you want. I'm going to do this. Click the color. Click fill options. Click uh, where it says solid. Click gradient. Come down here and click edit. And let's do a white or a red. Sorry. Like that. Perfect. Let's make another text box. Take a T, highlight it, come over here, fill options, click solid to gradient, edit. This time we're going to make it white and a slight gray. Let's, say, let's do right about there. And then just move it, uh, sorry, and just move it right over here, just so that they touch right there. Okay. Now what we need to do is come to the line tool, click this color, and click black, and let's make it 
uh, size 50. So right down here, click the 50. Then you're going to want to come from one corner to the other, like this, and make a black line. Now what you can do is come over here and click gradient, linear, and I'm going to make it the opposite of what we had here. So I'm going to do black, and over here I'm going to do the light gray. And then over here, um, make that white. Or, sorry. I'm going to have to do... Okay, so you have that. Uh. Okay, let's make another one. Or, you know what? No, wrong thing to do. Delete. If you accidentally did that, just delete the pass. Okay, come over here and press Control C, then Control V. Come to your Move tool and move it slightly over. Now you're going to select both, both layers, by pressing control, pressing and holding control. Come to modify, combine paths, join. And then you're going to do control C, control V. And then move them like that. And then just control V one more time, and move it slightly so that they're all equally apart. And now, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to press, press and hold control again, click modify, combine paths, join. So then you have one layer of the stripes. Now drag the stripes all the way down to the bottom. Part, uh, sorry, right, right above the rectangle we made earlier. Like that. So you have a stripe background, which looks pretty sweet. And then uh, we're going to come to File, Save As. You're going to want to save it as a JPEG so that you can put it on like Photo Bucket. See, here's all my other stuff that we've done, or that I've done. Here, I'll show you this banner that's pretty cool. I'm going to click File, Open, and open the banner. I use this a lot, a lot of times for. Um, websites my website so yeah this is pretty it's this is how I did it I just showed you and you do the gradient on the uh, stripes and you just bring the stripes to the bottom and if you want to make text here you just click the text tool <coughs> sorry uh, sorry my microphone dropped you uh, make the text box and then you just type in your text and add a gradient. So that's how you do it. Thanks for watching. See ya. And by the way, don't forget to ch check out my website at www.ethanstutorials, E-T-H-A-N-S-T-U-T-O-R-I-A-L-S dot C-O dot N-R. The link will be in the uh, sidebar of the video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>